Might have been. Maybe I didn't turn it on. Right, another video which I've just been recording for a good five minutes back there. Talking about various things. Not for long again, but once again, it turned itself off. It might have been that I hadn't pressed record properly. It was probably on standby and then it, that, that's what happens. So anything I said back there, which I can't remember now. I even did some zoom in and out. None of that had come out. I was talking about... Not, I can't see it from here, but much further over there's some hills. And it did say in one of the books that Dartmoor could be seen from here. But you can't see it on this, it was back there, it was further back where I had a really good view. It'll come in view again. Poor lock will be over there. There's a lovely view again. I should imagine the A39's down there somewhere as well. That come from my net. The A39 will be down there. I'm still heading for Weber's post. And I've, I think I was saying that I don't regret any of the walk I've done or any of the decisions. Um, obviously I can't do it all today. Yeah, I'm just doing a little bit. I only just turned this camera on as well. Um, so it doesn't look like any videos have come out if I've done any of the others either. I don't know how much I've done on this one. Not a lot. I probably forgot to check it. There's that church down there, look. I'll just zoom in. There's a church there. Is it the same one? Yeah. I don't know what that village is down there, but there is a path, I can see it, going down there. Now if I'd had the other two hours, there's no way I would not I would have missed that church, I would have been straight down there in a minute, there's going to be a path. But to be quite honest, I, I can't do it today. There's a lot of uphill to do. So I don't really want to go down if I can help it, because I left the other church out on purpose. Now I've got a feeling this might be called Horner Wood. It could be a place called Horner down there. You can see a path. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be a separate mission. And once again, I need to be able to do all this while I've still got a vehicle. Can you imagine trying to get here to do a walk if you didn't have a, any transport apart from a bus or a train? You time you get here, it'd be time to go back, wouldn't it? Not everyone's got cars, and you know, there's an awful lot of people that don't have mobility or access. They're fit people, but they... You know, they can't get out there. Like I said, it'd take me years to get out there. I don't know what's up with this. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I haven't seen any of those orange strips either lately. looking out for deer. Whatever it is, I'm doing a very wide walk round, I can tell you that. But it's good. It is good. I think I've got quite a walk to do yet. i got a feeling it's the hills right over there. No, I think that'll still be Exmoor. That won't be Dartmoor yet, that's still too close. That'll be Exmoor still, the Exmoor National Trust that'll be over there. I 
keeping my eye out for deer because they were on the top of these one of these hills not long ago. I'm glad I got that video. <sighs> Looks like we're going down again. So no, it didn't. This is this must be still be the Dunst track. It's called the Dunster Track. Then in a minute, I would have thought we'd have a sign for the Macmillan track because. Um, and what about the Coleridge one? I thought they were all supposed to meet up around here. Obviously, Coleridge would come out over there somewhere. It'd be coming out of Porlock, wouldn't it? That might be a different route. Oh, it's a good job I got strong legs, you know. The thing is, when you're in a little track like this, I haven't been able to see anything for ages properly. Like up there, I can't see the beacon yet, for example. I got no idea how far away it is or nothing. I can't see nobody. There was someone on a bike earlier, and then there was a big group of people that have obviously marched on. On, but if there's been no turn offs, it's not as if I've come across a sign that says, Oh, this way to um, whatever you know. It's all part of exploring. So, though, you can, like I was saying to myself earlier, you can sometimes be a bit scared when you're on your own when you've never been somewhere before, right? Like, I never, I never walked here in my life. And sometimes you think, am I going the wrong way? Have I missed a turn for some reason? You know, and, and you don't see anybody else either. And for a minute you can feel, you can start feeling a bit isolated. It doesn't happen very often, but it's usually with the first walk, when you first do it. And the signs start disappearing. I mean, those ribbons, they've all gone now. But they probably think there's no point putting them up. Because we're in a turning yet. See? No, you can feel a little bit... I'd, I'd be a bit more worried if it was like um, five o'clock now. And I still hadn't got anywhere, if you know what I mean. So... I know I'm doing a wide berth. I know that. I'm doing a wide berth and then we we'll, should home back in, I would have thought. But I don't know if that's the hill over there or is it over there. I will get the map out eventually. But we've been fortunate. They said it was going to be all right today. Oh, I can see a ribbon again. There is one now. They must be coming up to a, a turning in a minute, I should think. Some people might do short walks and just sort of head back down to a village that's down there, you see. Have a cup of tea and cake. And then there probably is another a type of circular walk somewhere else. But of course, I don't want to end up going down there. That could be Horner Hill over there. I've got to get, go towards a beacon. Yeah, there's one of those ribbons again. Ah, we've got, there is a post. What does that say? Weber's post that way. County Road. Right, I'm going to get the map out. This is where you get the map out. Over and out a minute. 